so you probably want to play with mods but you don't want to use your main safe or maybe you just want to test mods but you were afraid it will break your safe you worked so hard to have well that won't be a problem anymore in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to set up a profile for mods provide some tips and teach how to make money fast from experience if you already have a profile where you have graded all the way to the top it's really important that there is no chance of something bad happening to the same. That said, if you want to play with mods, I recommend either creating a new profile and progress it, it as normal or use sheets and have it ready within 5 minutes. You can use your main save with mods, but bear in mind that in the long run it might give you some headaches. Using the main save will imply that you will have to deal with mods not being compatible with new game versions or end up crashing your game. Often, removing the mod from the save ends up being the solution. Back in the days, we had to manually back up a profile somewhere else, just in case something happened to the main save. Nowadays, as most of you should be running the Steam version of Hero Truck, you might just want to use the cloud save and use the multiple save points as well. However, you can always do a copy of our main save and keep it somewhere else. In case something happens, you can always use the copy of your save and it will be just a couple of rollbacks in the progression. Chances are, you just won't unlock everything available in the game and don't care about the profile progression. You just want to play the mods and basically skip the grind part. So now I'm going to teach you how to set up a profile with sheets really fast. Creating a new profile starts being pretty much straightforward. The process is the same as if you want to create a one where you will not use any mods. If you want to test mods with a map mod, that is different. You should activate map when creating the profile, but for that you should go and watch my guide on how to install mods where I cover everything since requirements which the map might have as well as load order and a few tips, link is in the description. As I test many maps and mods and create new profiles almost on a daily basis, it's really important for me to correctly label the saves. Sometimes when I'm working between two versions of the game, I even specify in which version I made the save. But usually I specify in which map does the save run, in case it's a map mod and which version of the map it is. When using many mods on a profile for too long, you will notice weird stuff happening to your game. Game stutters and weird random crashes are a few symptoms of that. Or simply it breaks in a specific region. Many things can happen when using mods. Personally, a very small price we have to pay when exploring, driving and having fun with awesome stuff made by the community mothers. On a personal note, these problems were way more noticeable in older versions of the game. Once the profile is created, you need to get money as quickly as possible to buy and test the mods. Not only the money is needed, but the experience is needed as well. If you want to test mods for a truck or a trailer, you need money and XP to unlock all the options. But of course, money is the main top. There are multiple ways to get money and experience fast in Hero Truck Simulator 2. To speed up the process, all methods require you to use some console of the game. Although, in this video I'm going to discuss only one method which I do believe to be the best choice for everyone looking to have big bucks and experience in ATS 2. But first, we need to activate the game's developer console. If you already know how to activate it and use it, please feel free to skip this part. In case you were wondering what the console is, basically it's a tool which is usually used by the developers and modders. It allows to have immediate access to certain features of the game, as well as it can be used to report bugs. It also allows you to easily change the time, weather, skyboxes and even teleport, which is what matters to us at this moment. Teleporting will let you travel to different cities with one command or using the free camera, instead of doing the auto drive to the destination in order to complete the first missions. Assuming you don't have access to the console, the first step is to leave the game if you have it opened. Go to My Documents, Eurotruck Simulator 2 folder, 
and find the file with the with the name config. Once you find it, right mouse click in it and choose to open with a notepad. If you don't have a notepad option, uh, any text editor should be able to open it. When open, you need to change two values. You need to find the user developer 0 and change the 0 to 1. Then you do the same to the console command. Make sure there is no blank spaces between the numbers and the quotation marks. Save the document and you can close it and jump back in the game. So first make sure you are able to access the console. You press the key you see on the screen on your keyboard and it should open it. The moment you are able to open it, you can uh, start inserting commands in it. For example, let's say we want to go to Paris. You open the console and type go to Paris. This should take you there and now you just have to control the developer camera or the free camera, it's the same thing, with the numpad of your keyboard. You can move the camera with the mouse and mess the camera speed in the mouse wheel. Once you find a place to teleport your truck to, just gotta press Ctrl F9 if you have the latest versions of the game, or just F9 if you for some reason run older versions of the game. If you don't want to type and only want to find the destination you desire, it's totally possible. Once you are in the truck, press the zero key on your keyboard near the backspace key. Now you're just using the free developer camera and can move it using the controls which I discussed with you. In this tutorial I assumed you started a new profile, but if for some reason you are already running with a save and want to use the sheets to put money and XP in it, you just gotta follow the exact same principles. This method even works if you use your own trailer. Now that we already know how to deliver cargo in seconds, it is time to know how to make it give more money. I used to bypass the normal progression of the game with a sheet engine in order to have everything needed to test and play with the boss. While sheet engine is in my opinion a great way to acquire money and XP, I always had problems with the skill points using this method. Sheet engine also would take me a little more time to have a save ready to run many mods, but it would get the job done. That was what I used until I found about the game booster. Essentially, this is a mod. You place it in the mod folder or subscribe to it in the Steam Workshop. And then you just need to activate when creating your profile or whenever you want. If you are not familiar with mods and how to install them, there is a link in the description where I will guide you on how to install any type of mod in your game. When using this mod, it changes how much money and experience you earn per card. This method always allows you to upgrade your skills freely as well. Plus, if you are not confident with parking your uh, truck to earn the max points, don't worry, this mod got you covered. You can choose easy parking and collect the same experience as if you park in the hardest shots. The only downside I encountered was once when the new ATS2 version came out, and it took a few days to get updated. But for me, this is absolutely the best way to set up a new profile. When using this method, I also teleport as much as I can using the developer's uh, console and the free camera, which I discussed earlier. You just gotta go to the freight market, as you would if you were playing like it should be played, and choose a mission. Usually, here I even order the list to have the closest cargoes at the top. In this case, the distance of the trip is irrelevant. The closer, the better. Instead of opening the console and type the command, you just gotta use the free camera tool which is way faster. Although there will be situations which you will be almost forced to use the console command instead. Now that you have money and everything as it should be, you might want to unlock the truck dealer locations. If you wish to drive a different default brand truck from the game that you initially chose to drive with, you will have to visit or pass by the by a truck dealer. Truck dealers are available throughout Europe. The majority of cities have either a small shop to buy a truck or a big truck dealer. If you want a specific truck brand, you will have to know where the truck brands are located. For that, I will leave a link in the description where you will be able to see where are they located. 
since you know the location, you can straight teleport to the city and spawn your currently truck right in the dealer's spot. A big feature which was added a few versions ago was the mod dealers. Regarding trucks that are mods, back in the days you had to go visit the dealer in order to buy the truck. But now, for all truck mods you can go and buy them straight from the modded dealer. For every truck mod that you have activated in the save, it, will, it should appear in this dealer. If it doesn't show up, it's either a mod problem or you have to go as the good old days and visit a dealer. Or could be something wrong with mod. Once you get familiar with the teleporting and using an uh, external camera to travel, you are going to be able to set up profiles very quickly. Since I create and delete profiles quite often, uh, if you are setting a mod profiles to test mod, I advise you to create a new save every time a new ATS or ATS version comes out. If you enjoyed, please leave a like in the video and subscribe to get notified every time a new video comes out. Hope I helped, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.